racetrack. I brought my kids. Carson, say hi. Hey. Calvin, say hi. Hi. And Caleb. Now we're going to celebrate Cody's birthday. No, birthday no, party no. vibes. Yes. Woo. Happy wow. birthday, Cody. Caleb. Wow. Wow. Uh, you you got something there that that was on your car last weekend. Yeah, last weekend it was on my car. And what happened? Well, if you watch this last week's episode, I was on fire. <laughs> <laughs> and we didn't know what it was until we got back to the pits. We thought it was engine related, um, but little did we know it was transmission, which was caused by this thing here. So what happened was. Um, and this was hooked up to the transmission. It, like, restricted the fluid. So instead of letting it flow freely, it was restricted in here, and then it got really hot. Um, we blew through the lines before we put it back on the car at the beginning of the season. It seemed like it was okay, but clearly it wasn't. So, uh, we upgraded. Well, that, thing, that thing's, what, like 100 years old? I mean, <laughs> I'm going to be 34. Yeah. And uh, I've never seen a different one on the car. So. <laughs> and we've been around the car for um, 30 years at yeah. least. Yeah. So I got this uh, new one put on here. Ooh, so, that looks very fancy. Yeah. I mean, standard for today probably, but. Pretty fancy. Fancy yes, for uh, us. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, that's exciting. So, uh, how'd you get that on there so fast? Well, Steve had. He that he had that cooler with him and then uh but my transmission was a, a mess because of all of this this caused the issue and uh chris had a bunch of work to do we got the transmission to him monday morning and um and arrived here at the track at about 11 30 this morning so and then uh performance we overnight dropped well, the converter. We couldn't use your converter anymore, could we? No, so there was no point in sending it, but we did, and they said it was garbage and I had to buy a new one, but they got that to us uh, Friday afternoon, so. Wow, that's an awesome and quick turnaround. Thank yeah, you. I'm very thankful for Kevin at Hughes Performance. I know Chris gave him a bad time a little bit. Um, <laughs> Maybe I'm a bit of a spoiled brat, and I wanted my parts back in the car right away. So here we are. The Danielle Show. <laughs> All right, Danielle, and where can the people find us? For more chaos to follow along with, um, you can check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and our YouTube channel. Make sure you like and subscribe. We have videos every week. There's Danielle standing around again. <laughs> I've never seen this done. And it's been up how many times now? Three times. Well, now's the time to learn. Update, look who's helping. Good work, Danielle. Yeah. Fail! A big gust of wind just came and <laughs> undid all their work that they had done so far. It was over here, and then they worked it over here, and then about where Danielle's standing they were, and then a big gust of wind came and it all went, Woo. So they must start over. Good work, guys! We've recruited a little more help. We're getting closer. Two hours later. 
Ta-da! It's basically done. Doing our first time trial in Nova. Steve's our driver this weekend. Steve, what's happening here? We're gonna see what we can break today. <laughs> Let's try not to break anything. How I, about that? I would like to drive it inside the trailer under its own power at yeah. the end of the day. That'd be great. Yeah. I think we can do it. Okay. And I think maybe we could win too. We'll see. As long as the driver cooperates. And the car, I guess. Alright. Good luck. I need it. <laughs> Don't you trust them, Danielle? <laughs> I mean... Look at what's happened to my car over the course of anybody. almost the last three that's years. Dad, Dad's gone. Hot takes from Matt. She <laughs> doesn't trust anybody. It's got nothing to do with Steve. <laughs> it's like she knows what she's doing, but she doesn't. Dad's gone and my car is just falling apart. Steve's on control. I think uh, this is all for the better. I hope so. Okay, yeah. good. Other than I, I don't think I have a line lock right now, but I it's like some push button you have to set up so the line lock works. We gotta change that in the box. Computer yeah. issue? It's slower than I thought it'd go, but I mean it's, it's, it's the creek is Yeah. Plus it was a slower sixty foot than last week. Hey guess what? It's another rain delay. We're doing rain delay things, right, Dinya? Yep. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna put some air in my air bottle. Okay. <laughs> For the driver, Steve? <laughs> and Steve is entering his run into the computer. You guys make a great team. Tell the people what you're doing. I'm uh, unhooking the gauge and the airline, and then I'm going to hook up this tank has CO2 in it. And why do we need that? It's for shifting and things. Hmm. Because your car, you don't shift it on your own? No, it shifts off the air, so we, we can either set it in this case it's on rpm so at a certain rpm they'll shift it when i raise super street i shift it on time okay and that's the shifter over there and then when it gets to right, a certain yeah. rpm that little will you point to the thing that spits out yep goes forward and if there's no air in that bottle it doesn't shift. It doesn't shift, and you might need to do it by yourself. If you catch it in time, right? Yeah. What are we reading, Steve? Figure out how to get the line to work. I feel like you could call somebody, and they're going to tell you what. To read the manual. <laughs> done deal? Good work, Danielle. Winner driver interview. Screwed up, but it worked. <laughs> well, what happened? I gave it back by triple zero seven, but Joe broke out, so we, get, we got luck. We got some luck. Yeah. That's a first. I think it halfway repeated there anyway, so. All right, and the line lock? Yeah, we're good there now. Or tranny? What was it? Yeah. Was it the line lock? Line lock, yeah. It worked. Yep. Good. Get the box set up the right way. It works. Good luck, Cody. Hey, What's your plan? To win. It. To win. Yeah. To win. That, you heard it first. Go Cody's ahead. plan you is to win. win.
just won in third round, going on to fourth. How'd that one go? Did you make the right decision? I guess, yeah. He was slow. He was two. I was nine on the three, but he was four over. So he, the other guy ran a, dialed a 6.59, ran a 63 with a 7, I think I'm Kim. Steve dialed a 5.75, won a 76 with a 3 for the win. Going on to fourth round, here we go, keep it going, we need some money for that transmission. <laughs> Right, Kim? Yeah. What are we dialing? Rocky. Don't know yet. Probably 75. Okay. Five, do it. How many years you've been doing this? 28. Too All right. Many. Too many, he says. That's Rick, the owner of Grove Creek. Beautiful Grove little track. Lane number one, Grove Creek final. Got double duty right now. Uh, Cody's up in staging lanes with for the final for the consolation race for the juniors. Um, he just won fifth round. Going to, there's four cars left in Super Pro, so I'm stayed back. We're gonna put some gas in, check the tires, and make sure it's good to go for him. Then I run up and try and make the junior race. We'll see what happens. I'm not gonna ask him this time because he's. He's just gonna tell me, I don't know, probably a 575. Rain is still pretty warm. If I get a drag stir, maybe I'll go 74. There you have it, that's the plan. We get a drag stir, we go on 74. Tranny's a little warm. Better next time. <laughs> <laughs>